In this video we're going to talk about the parts tab within the product editor. The parts tab gives you a complete listing of all the parts that are currently being built. You have options to manipulate the parts in the cabinet here. We can add parts. We can edit the currently selected part. We can rebuild the currently selected part. For example, if we had edited the back and made a change. We now have a quantity of 10 backs on this cabinet. If we wanted to rebuild that, then we simply click this button and it returns it to the normal calculation. You can also copy parts. For example, if in this construction method we not only wanted a front toe kick but also a rear toe kick, we could select this part, copy the part, and you will notice the copy is in red. Red parts let you know they've been modified. So we'll select the uh, copied part, go to edit. We'll change the name of that part to back toe. And then we're going to edit the 3D position. It's currently located in the same position from front to back as the front toe. We're going to modify that and we're going to position it, this at the cabinet depth minus the toe thickness. So that should place it exactly where we want. Let's test that. It's going to put it at 23 and a quarter. That's perfect. So now we'll go out and view this. If we look at it in SketchUp, we now have a sub toe in the front as well as the back positioned exactly where we want it to be. Now you can also rebuild all the parts within the cabinet. So if we had made several modifications to parts and we want to default back to our normal cabinet, then we can just rebuild all the parts and Mosaic will obviously prompt you if you want to make that change. If we click yes, then you will notice any modifications that we've made, including adding the new part, has been um, replaced. Now it's also important to note that there are several other editors that will come into play at your parts tab. For example, the part editor, the shape editor, and the operations editor are all used to manipulate your parts. If we click on this part and we select edit, we have the option here to edit the shape, which is going to launch the part in Mosaic Shape Editor. We also have the ability to edit the operations, which will launch the operations editor. And of course, we can edit the 3D part position, which gives you the ability to uh, modify where the part is located in 3D space. Now, several of the editors can be uh, selected in different areas in the software. For example, at the face tab, we can select any part bottom rail for example select edit and we can edit the shape or the operations at that point if we select the interior of the cabinet select a part click edit we can also edit the shape or the operations for that part there that is the same as clicking on the part and clicking the edit button and selecting the option you want to edit here. You also have the ability to change part types. So if we wanted to change this shelf from a normal shelf to a glass shelf, for example, we can select the part type and change it from the normal shelf to glass. Now if we look at this in SketchUp, and we'll turn off the door so we can see inside, and we can see that our shelf inside the base cabinet is now a glass shelf. And you can also edit the quantity of a part as we demonstrated earlier. You can edit the size of the part both in width and length. You can put these dimensions in statically or you can actually write a formula. 